now take a closer look at China's impact on Latin America's green energy transition. For that, we are joined by Ricardo Agama, a Master of Sustainable Development and Engineering Professor at Lima University. Thanks so much for joining us, sir. Thank you very much, Karina. How has China contributed to Peru's efforts in transitioning to renewable energy and sustainable practice? Are there examples of key projects or partnerships that come to mind? Well, yeah, many, many key projects and many and many of the initiatives already. We have the investment of Three Gorges Corporation, for example, is the building of a hydroelectric plant in San Gabán Free. If I'm not mistaken, the the investment was over 8 million won, uh, yuan, sorry, and for the BRI, right? Uh, specifically talking about Shanghai, which is a mega port right now. Um, we work um, together, of course, with, uh, with China, and well, we're getting a lot of sustainable infrastructure, clean energies, and of course, um, auto um, self-driving self cars that are completely electric. We are reducing the, uh, the energy consumption a lot lately. So it is um, a lot of work that we are getting into and no improvement can come without a challenge. And that is the idea of academia. And I'm so grateful that you're, uh, you're interviewing me here because at Universidad de Lima, we encourage our students to follow that, right? The research and development of sustainable technology, technologies, strategies such as carbon, uh, carbon footprint measurement and another contributions. In summary, China's contribution is very important, not only because of the obvious, but also because it demonstrates that we are on the right path and encourages, to, encourages us to keep doing our part in academia. Mm. Uh, Peru is also rich, of course, in natural resources, including copper, which is essential for renewable energy technologies. How are China and Peru collaborating to ensure that mining these resources aligns with green and sustainable practices? Yeah, well, as you said, our country is very rich and copper is one of the biggest uh, minerals here. I was reviewing some numbers earlier today and I noticed uh, last year Peru has exported more than $64 billion. Almost 62% of that of those exports were in the mining sectors. $21 billion were exported to China, and about $15 billion was copper. <laughs> so yeah, we not only have a great deal of business, but also a great opportunity to do things correctly. Right? We are taking um, important steps to assure ensure transparency, regulation, and, uh, and accountability. As the Peruvian government, we have the 2030 vision that aims for a mining industry that has four distinctive attributes. First, the social and territorial inclusions, and environmental sustainability, competitiveness and innovation, and operation under good governance. We also have the EITI, the Extractive Industry Transparent Initiative, and many Chinese companies are joining the Peruvian EITI program. Also, of course, as you may know, the BRI Green Coalition's Green Development Guidelines, right? The color coding for the classification of the environmental impacts of the projects. And I can say without a doubt that, for example, in academia, again, in the Universidad de Lima, we emphasize the high responsibility that Peruvian professionals have in ensuring sustainable projects, right? Peru and China are sending a clear message about their commitment to sustainable development and their environmental protection, right? This also fosters an environment of trust and cooperation between both economies. And that's fundamental to address uh, global environmental challenges. And of course, uh, promote sustainable economic growth. Ricardo, only about 30 seconds left. Let me ask you really quickly, what role do you think the Belt and Road Initiative play in promoting green development in Peru, particularly in terms of energy transition and environmental sustainability? Only about 30 seconds. Okay, um, basically, well, as you said, the promotion of environmental sustainability, collaboration on renewable energy projects, and of course, promoting investing investments in projects for green infrastructure and um, clean energy.